That's right. You see a bald big boy sports. Um, it was it was about that time. It's been about 15 months or so. Uh, but let me tell you, uh, that's just because I got a new job and I have to start it on Monday uh, instead of I was gonna start it Friday, but I chose to do Monday instead. Substitute teaching. I don't know how that's gonna go, but you know, it's gonna be a thing that's gonna happen. I'm gonna be all over DFW at these prep schools and whatnot, but that's neither here nor there. We're here to talk about the NFL, aren't we? And tonight, in about four hours, we got the Bengals and the Dolphins in Cincy. Dolphins 3-0 and coming off a big win. Cincinnati finally got their first win. Now the Dolphins, they do uh, they do have a, a, pretty, a pretty damn good defense, I'm telling you. Melvin Ingram out there, Zach Sealer, Trey Flowers, I mean, it's it's that good. Now, you got Joe Burrow and the Bengals out here, you know, just doing whatever they want to do. I mean, you know, they did whatever they wanted against the Jets last week. But can they do it again against a Dolphins team that's, you know, again, has good defense their offense is looking pretty nice. They're looking like a team that could contend for a title this year, honestly. Like, well, I don't think anybody expected that from Miami in the first three weeks of the season, but here we are. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. Sunday morning. Yes, Sunday morning in London. The first of a couple, the first of three London, um, U- or rather UK games. There's another in Germany and there's another in Mexico. But both of those are later down in the season. But we got the Saints and the Vikings out in London at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. And it's going to be a doozy. It's going to be a doozy because the Vikings, again, that defense did not look good against the Lions last week. And they, they, they've, they've looked a little suspect at times. You know, the Saints have been struggling a little bit, you know. Of course, you know, you got Marshawn Lattimore in the secondary. And, you know, the Vikings passing game has been kind of, you know, it's been kind of wishy-washy. You know, Justin Jefferson's been, like, not there the past couple weeks. But something's got to give here. Both these teams are needing, they're needing to correct their weaknesses. And they'll do that in London on Sunday morning. And then you get the other games, you know, the actual, you know, the actual slates get to start, you know, the, the one Eastern and the four Eastern games. Of course, the first of these is the Browns and the Falcons in that one Eastern window. This is going to be real intriguing. You don't know what the status of Miles Garrett's going to be because he got hurt in a car accident. You know, the Falcons got a win last week, which was very surprising. The Browns. You know, they got Nick Chubb in the backfield. They're they're looking they're looking a lot better than what I thought they'd be, you know, at at, at two and one so far. But I mean they're just, they're this this again, this one's gonna be this one's gonna be real intriguing, you know. And, and don't get me wrong, the Falcons offense is actually looking pretty efficient too. So don't don't count out Mariota and company. Do not count them out. You got the Bills and the Ravens, probably one of the best games in the early window. Lamar Jackson versus Josh Allen. Who boy. No Micah Hyde, though. He's done for the year. I know that. And uh, the Ravens, you know, aside from Lamar Jackson, you know, you got the running game not being there. It's kind of just stuck in quicksand right now. They don't, like, nobody... Nobody in, in, in you know Baltimore's run game can really do anything. They're also the Ravens are also you know they're they they're losing offensive linemen left and right, you know so that's that's gotta that's gotta be concerning. And then of course you know Ravens you know got beat by the Dolphins with a secondary that couldn't that that just couldn't stop the Dolphins in the second half, you know. So that could be a cause for concern there. Again, Buffalo's Buffalo's got to be mad at themselves after last week's performance against Miami. So, you know, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this one goes. Again, Buffalo's secondary, you know, kind of kind of in a kind of in a rut because of, you know, Mike Hyde's injury and everything like that. You got them Cowboys, my Dallas Cowboys going up against the Washington Commanders. 
And, oh dear lord, Carson Wentz is terrible. Like, I, I didn't, I, you know, when I watched this man win national championships with North Dakota State, so I watched several national championships with Carson Wentz at quarterback because I watch football because I love football. And I just don't know what in the world happened to this man. Like, this man has fallen off a cliff. He is, he is the personification of a bust in my eyes. And this Cowboys defense has been hungry. They've been feasting on quarterbacks, especially with Micah Parsons out there. And now you got Cooper Rush actually playing very well. Like, it's very surprisingly well. Like, I honestly thought, I honestly thought the Cowboys would maybe win like one, maybe two games until Dak comes back. Because, again, the timetable was like six to eight weeks. So, I'm thinking we're going to be like two and five, two and seven. And we're already two and one. Which is wild. But Washington, Washington's just, I just don't know what's wrong with them. Like, they're one and two, but it really doesn't feel like they're one and two. You know, just just not a very good team. And, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good one out in AT&T Stadium. And finally, a noon game for the Cowboys. No, none of that, none of that, you know, none of that late game nonsense shenanigans that we always be doing. I, I actually, I actually am a Cowboys fan that actually prefers earlier games in my, in my eyes. You know, I don't, like I know when people whine about, you know, like game times and stuff like that. You know, I'm just one of those people that actually prefers, you know, when the Cowboys play earlier. So this is a win for me. How about them Lions though? Them Lions. Oh boy. I know, I know, I know some friends of mine, Alliance fans, that may be watching this video. Man, you got Amon Ross St. Brown, you got DeAndre Swift, you got a Lions offense that can actually move the ball. That's actually a threat. The defense ain't no slouch either. Going up against the Seahawks, you know, Geno Smith, still kind of iffy. But I mean, I, I, I genuinely don't know what the Seahawks are going to do. You know, again, they lost to Atlanta last week, and they could not stop the Falcons. Can they stop the Lions? I don't know. I really don't know. We'll find out. Then you got the Chargers and the Texans also in this early window, because, like, what in the world happened, man? They got blown out by Jacksonville. They got blown out so bad. Like, I, I, I don't think he even expected it. You know, Joey Bosa's out. Rashawn Slater, you know, he's he's out at left tackle. Justin Herbert's kind of just not, you know, he's I bet he's still feeling that rib injury. But he's he's not, you know, he's not doing he's not doing what he can do. And then, you know, Keenan Allen, he's been kind of a, uh, he's been kind of a, a sore spot, too. Because I know, I, I don't remember exactly if he played against the Chiefs. Um, but he, again, the, the Chargers have been, you know, Chargers have been kind of iffy so far. But we'll see what they can do against Davis Mills and the 0-2-1 Texans. Yes, that feels kind of weird to say. Colts surprised us last week against tight, or rather against the Chiefs. But you know, you know, I don't know if they're gonna surprise the Titans with Matt Ryan. You know, the Titans just. I don't know how they're one and two, but I mean somebody had to lose last week between the Titans and the Raiders, and it ended up being the Raiders. We'll talk about them in a little in a little bit, but I think the Titans can rebound again. The Colts, honestly, they got lucky last week. They uh, they really did that, and that eight and that eight minute drive that they had against the Chiefs really was really was the best thing about it. You know, if they didn't have that drive, they would have lost that game. They really would have, because again, Chiefs just had made way too many mistakes in that game last week. Got the Bears and the Giants. Both these teams are two and one. Um, I don't know. Justin Fields versus Daniel Jones. I don't know what I don't know what y'all are thinking. I'm not watching this. This is gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be weird to see that one of these teams is gonna be three and one, because I just don't think either of these two teams are contenders. Yeah, the Bears got a nice ground game, a nice defense. Yeah, the Giants, you know, you know they 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 are not an easy bunch to go up against either. But 
again, somebody's going to be three and one after this, and it's going to be weird as hell to see that somebody's going to be three and one after this. So I don't know. Man. The Eagles and the Jags. Somehow this one is a sneaky, sneaky good game. Sneaky, sneaky good. We're talking Josh Allen, not not the Bills quarterback, the the defender Josh Allen. You know, Devin Lloyd, Tyson Campbell. You know, this Jags defense that has been playing very, very good. Trevor Lawrence has been actually playing very, very well. And then you got Jalen Hurts on the other side for the Eagles. Man, this this one, this one could be interesting. I'm definitely watching this one. You know, down there at Lincoln Financial Field out in Philly. Going to be a good one. Steelers and the Jets. Uh... It's going to be Mitchell Trubisky versus maybe Joe Flacco, maybe Zach Wilson. I believe he should be back. You know, Zach Wilson should be back because I know his injury was like, you know, I think it was like a back injury or something like that. It kept him out for like four or five weeks. Um, and the Steelers defense has been kind of rough to watch. You know, again, they, they did not look good against the Browns last week. They, they haven't. They haven't looked the greatest, you know, without T.J. Watt and everything like that. But, I mean, the Jets, the Jets, the Jets. So, Steelers should be able to beat the Jets. It it will be close, but they should be able to beat them. All right, the, all right, the late games now. The Cardinals and the Panthers. How in the world are these two teams wanted to? Actually... How are the Cardinals wanted to? I know why the Panthers are wanted to, but how are the Cardinals wanted to? You know, you got you got this Panthers defense looking real good though, but I mean it's gonna be Kyle Murray really being the only guy out there, you know, that's doing anything with the Cardinals. Baker Mayfield's struggling, so maybe like so some some but something's gotta give here. Cause I mean I mean Baker Mayfield's just Maybe he was the problem out in Cleveland. Maybe he really was the problem because I mean he just he just hasn't looked good at all, you know either. And you know the rest it's a recipe for disaster when you know only one player on your team is doing things for your team. In the case of the Cardinals, and you got one guy that's just messing everything up for the other team. In the case of the Panthers with Baker Mayfield, so I don't know how this one's gonna go. Should be a good one. The Packers Patriots. I genuinely don't know what in the world Mac Jones is going to be able to do because, well, he's out. So I guess it's Brian Hoyer's turn to, to do something. How's Brian Hoyer still in the league? And then you got the Packers, you know, big win last week against Tampa Bay. You know, that defense is still very good. That offense, you know, at times can be, you know, it, it can be great. But other times it's just pedestrian. But we'll see, you know, if the hoodie can counter Aaron Rodgers in this game. So it's going to be a good one. I think it's going to be a good one, you know, out here. Patriots have a lot to prove with this new regime, you know, at, at, you know, at quarterback. Well, not really new regime, I'd say. You know, I, I'd say Brian Hoyer has been here forever. So, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. But, I mean, the Patriots are just looking like a totally different team now. Now that there's no Tom Brady. The Broncos and the Raiders in the other, um, you know, super late window. Like the 325 window. Because I don't know how in the world these two teams are the way that they are. Again, the Broncos shouldn't even be 2-1. The Raiders are 0 and 3. It's going to be Derek Carr versus Russell Wilson, and they just don't. Both these teams just don't have you know good offenses that are you know gelling together right now. I just don't know, man. Like Carr to Devontae Adams should be a lock, but it just hasn't worked out as well. And Russell Wilson, you know. Broncos offense has got to be one of the worst offenses I think I've seen through three weeks. I can't believe I can't believe there's another, you know, late game in a national window 
to watch the Broncos struggle on offense because they're that bad on offense. You know, it's it's terrible. Chiefs Bucks. Both these teams lost last week, which is something for the NFL. Uh, it does look like this game will go on as planned. Again, Hurricane Ian is is impacting uh, Florida and Georgia and South Carolina. So, you know, the Southeast it's impacting the Southeast right now. Now, it could move, but who knows if it will. But I don't know if it will or not. You know, Bucks defense is very good. We know it. You know, you know, Chiefs offense looking kind of iffy right now. So, and Tampa's offense is also, you know, just kind of iffy right now as well. So, we'll see what in the world kind of game we're going to get from this. I think it should be a good one. The spread here is only like Chiefs by a point, which is... You know, surprising. And yeah, it, it, it will still be played in Tampa. But I know there was something that it could have moved. But I don't know if it will. And then Monday night, the 49ers and the Rams. You know, both these teams have some good defenses. Nick Bosa for the Niners. Aaron Donald for the Rams. It's going to be a good one for these defenses. Um... Uh, Quarterbacks, run game, wide receivers, uh, for both teams. Oh, God, the 49ers offense is terrible. I, I think we've established that. You know, somehow, some way, somebody's going to win this game. But somebody's going to win it. But. Until Monday night, you know, when we um, come back to you, I'm going to get up out of here, I'm going to skedaddle, and I'll see you all, well, yeah, Sunday night. Technically, it'll be Saturday night, but it'll be like 1 a.m. on a Sunday. You, you know how it is with college football. But I'll see you when college football wraps up for week number five. Take care, and enjoy the new look, Big Boy Sports, for the foreseeable future. LOL. <laughs>